uh, the far right had struggled to, to gain a foothold in the National Assembly, but now they're celebrating. That's exactly right. It's a historic win for the uh, National Rally with 89 MPs, uh, 11 times the number of MPs they have at present uh, up until this, uh, this election, uh, going to be going to the French Parliament with uh, 89 of them, uh, the, and which will give them a parliamentary group for the first time since 1986. Now, we can attribute this to three uh, real main factors. The first one is Marine Le Pen's move to rehabilitate the party over recent years and try to bring it more uh, out of the political wilderness a little bit. She was helped throughout the campaign, in fact, uh, by uh, Eric Zemmour. The fact that he never got through to the second round with any of his candidates, that's... Uh, the debating going on in the first round that dragged the campaign a little bit more onto the um, uh, onto the right wing and uh, where it was really immigration coming out to the fore with him going out in the in the second round that left those voters uh, disappointed and moving back to the national rally elsewhere uh, campaign themes such as purchasing power that uh, the uh, national rally uh, really made the centerpiece of its campaigning really gelling with voters at a time when inflation is spiring and uh, the everyday prices of uh, of pro of products are really uh, go, are going up, not to mention the collapse of the Republican front with uh, fewer candidates who went out in the first uh, round really calling to, uh, to move forward and uh, to, to block the national rally from, from getting forward. Uh, Luke, very briefly, now that the, the national rally have this power in the National Assembly, what are they planning to do with it? Well, the first thing we need to notice is that uh, they're getting in there with uh, a parliamentary group. You need 15 MPs to do this. Now, that gives uh, the National Rally, for the first time, a major platform they can use within the National Assembly. It gives them uh, more speaking time. It gives them uh, more chance, to, more opportunities to question the government. And uh, it gives them, more specifically, more resources, in particular, financial ones. Now, uh, for ev every MP... <clears throat> Excuse me. They get uh, thirty-seven thousand one hundred and thirty-one euros a year. Now multiply that by eighty-nine. You do the calculation. That's three point three million euros a year, and over five years, that totals sixteen and a half million. That will give uh, the party a strong base from which to work with. Not to mention paying off its debts uh, that it's uh, in, it's been encumbered with and have been a political thorn in its side, uh, particularly from a Russian bank totaling about nine point four million. Being able to get rid of those debts will give it a, a good chance moving forward. Luke, thank you very much for that. Luke Schrager reporting there.